Exploring a country through its food is one of the best experiences when traveling. So much of culture is expressed through food, but when in a foreign country, it can be difficult to know where to start and intimidating when the language and foods are unfamiliar. As first timers here in Japan, here are 10 foods we tried, loved, and recommend for your upcoming travels. Food tour! And if you stick around through those, we'll cover a list of honorable mentions, which may pique your interest and make your list of top 10. First up, of course, is sushi. Sushi is an art form in Japan. Whether you go for a traditional nigiri or explore the vast variety of rolls, you won't be disappointed. From buttery melt-in-your-mouth cuts of tuna or a toro and delicious sweet shrimp, every piece showcases the freshness and quality of ingredients. Cost-effective ways to try sushi include visiting a stall at a local market. We got this eel nigiri for 400 yen. It looks so good. Or dining at a conveyor belt or standing sushi restaurant. Conveyor belt sushi is such a fun experience. Plates of sushi and other sides come around on a conveyor belt and you pretty much just grab whatever looks good. You get charged by the plate and at the end they count the plates and charge you accordingly. Standing sushi is a more traditional, fast, casual dining experience. While standing at the sushi counter, you have the opportunity to witness the artistry in real time and the shaping of each piece adds an extra layer of appreciation to the dining experience. Here are a few recommendations around Tokyo and Osaka. Next up is the ultimate comfort food, ramen. This bowl of goodness is a beloved staple in Japanese cuisine and a culinary masterpiece that warms both the body and the soul. A typical bowl consists of springy noodles, rich broth, and an array of toppings. Ramen bowls are customizable, so there is something for everybody. Each bite is a harmonious blend of umami flavors. Slurping is not only accepted, but encouraged as it enhances the taste. But one thing that will for sure shock you is just how quiet and peaceful the insides of some of these ramen shops are. Here, take a listen. If you don't eat pork, don't worry. There are some incredible chicken ramens available, including this life-changing bowl from a Michelin-guided ramen spot in Ginza, Tokyo. To get to understand this staple, we took a ramen cooking class at the ramen factory in Kyoto, and it was an awesome experience that we would definitely recommend to our viewers. Here are a few recommendations, but honestly, any ramen shop with a line of locals is a good bet. When it comes to Japanese street food, yakitori is a must try. These skewered grilled meats and vegetables vegetables are incredibly popular. The juicy and tender bites are usually glazed with a flavorful sauce. This is also the most cost-effective way to try Japan's world-famous A5 Wagyu beef. Renowned worldwide for its marbling and tenderness, Wagyu is a true delicacy. The melt-in-your-mouth texture and rich buttery flavor are unparalleled. Yakitori can be found both in restaurants and street markets. Let's take a break from the savory and dive into the world of matcha. This vibrant green powdered tea is not only a beverage, but also a cultural experience. The bitter yet refreshing taste of matcha is often sweetened or accompanied by traditional Japanese sweets. While it's usually served as a hot tea, there are so many delicious modern takes on matcha, including matcha lattes, espresso and matcha lattes, my favorite, and even this Uji matcha tiramisu, which replaced the traditional espresso for matcha and was so delicious. I had matcha probably every day in Japan, but here were a couple of my favorite spots. Tamago yaki, often referred to as a Japanese omelet, holds a special place in Japanese cuisine. Tamago yaki is made by rolling together layers of seasoned beaten eggs into a rectangular shape. What sets tamago yaki apart from a normal omelet is its delicate and fluffy texture. We got a Japanese omelet. It is so fluffy and moist and it was only 150 yen. Cheers. Mm. Melts in your mouth. It's a comforting and satisfying dish that can be enjoyed as a standalone snack at a street food stall, part of a bento box, or even as a topping on sushi. Here are our recommendations. Onigiri, also known as rice balls, holds a special place in the hearts of both locals and travelers alike. Onigiri is a handheld treat made of rice, often shaped into a triangle or oval and filled with various ingredients. From classic options like grilled salmon to more adventurous choices like roe, there's an onigiri for every palate. It's a popular grab-and-go snack found at convenience stores, train station kiosks, and even traditional Japanese food stalls. It's the perfect companion for a busy day of exploring Japan. Okonomiyaki is a savory pancake made with a batter mix of shredded cabbage, seafood, or meat. Topped with a tangy sauce, mayo, and bonito flakes, the combination of textures and flavors is delicious, and it's often cooked right in front of you, adding an extra layer of fun to the dining experience. Tonkatsu is a breaded deep-fried pork cutlet that has become
become a staple in Japanese cuisine. The combination of the juicy pork with the crunchy fried bread coating is simple yet not to be missed. The dish is typically served with a tangy and savory sauce made with a blend of Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, and other seasonings. Japanese curry is a unique twist on the classic curry with its own distinct character and taste. Unlike its Indian or Thai counterparts, Japanese curry leans towards a milder and sweeter taste profile with flavors of onions, carrots, and potatoes shining through. You can enjoy the dish without meat or choose from various protein options such as tender chunks of beef, sausage, or crispy breaded pork cutlets known as katsu curry. We found a cluster of Japanese curry restaurants close together in Osaka that we recommend if you are hoping to try the dish. Ending on a sweet note with moki. This chewy rice cake dessert comes in various flavors and fillings such as red bean paste, matcha, and even whole strawberries. The soft and chewy exterior contrasts with the paste filling, creating a sweet treat perfect for ending any street food experience in Japan. To go traditional, try daifuku. This is the classic moki with a red bean filling. Narrowing this list down to a top 10 was so hard. Here's a list of honorable mentions that didn't make our top 10, but might make yours. Tempura from prawns to vegetables. Each piece is coated in a light, airy batter and deep fried to perfection. So good, so fresh. Really crunchy. Tempura didn't get soggy. And that's a huge shrimp, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that steam. Taiyaki, which is a fish-shaped treat with red bean paste. You can find these sweet treats at food stalls all over Japan, and they were tastier than expected. Takoyaki, pancake balls filled with octopus topped with mayo. Look, we know this is a big one, especially in Osaka, but when we tried it, we were pretty disappointed and to be honest, a little weirded out by the gooey center. However, if you visit Osaka, we still recommend that you try it for yourself and make up your mind since it's such a big attraction. Yakisoba, stir-fried noodles that are a popular street food. Next on the list is a oma rice, which is a creamy omelet sliced over rice. Daigaku, candied sweet potatoes, which make an awesome snack while exploring. I really like that one. Taco Tamago, this is a weird one. It's a candied baby octopus stuffed with a quail egg. Up next is fruit sandwiches, and it's pretty much just what it sounds like. Mitarashi dango are Japanese rice flour dumplings that are skewered onto sticks and covered in a sweet soy sauce glaze. Very unique, but not my favorite. Skip it. Nori or dried seaweed is an ingredient in some of the items listed previously. It is also a unique snack on its own and even a tea. Give it a try or buy souvenirs at Mariyama's Seaweed. That wraps up the video. Let us know what foods are your favorite down in the comments while traveling in Japan. 